easy to be so complimentary about the Yard. But today, I have no difficulty in thanking STX for what is a terrific job. And the thing to bear in mind with this ship is she's not only very beautiful and handsome and complex, but she's very efficient. I'm told by our team, and I've no reason to disbelieve them, that compared with the average of our p and Dover Calais fleet today, this ship can carry twice the amount of cargo for the same amount of fuel as existing fleet. Now there is efficiency for you. So she's not just elegant and beautiful, she's extremely efficient. I knew when we came here two years ago, when we were looking at yards to build it, in my bones I felt this was the right place. And I think we'll all agree we've made the right decision today. I said earlier on, if you've got a complex ship, you need a competent builder. We've got that, no doubt. But you need a competent operator too. This ship is going to set new standards in the ferry world. That is beyond dispute. But she's also, as I say, a complex vessel, and she needs to be operated well and efficiently. Well, I believe that in the management team we have in p and Ferries, we've got the best team, both ashore and afloat, for this job. I'm only the non-executive chairman, so actually I don't do very much, so I can stand back and say, without any form of bias, that I'm very, very proud of Helen and the management team that we've got running this ship. So they're the two key ingredients, I said, good builder, good operators, and we have them both. But the third and final point I'd like to make, and that is to remember that these ships are not free of charge. Somebody has to pay for them. And I think it is worth bearing in mind that our friends in Dubai, when they bought P&O, they took the ferry company very seriously. Could easily have said, well, what are we going to do with this company? We don't need to invest in it. No question of that. They've supported the company and they've given us a green light for this very significant capital investment in these two fine vessels. And I think we should remember having a strong shareholder behind you. And dare I say it, it's not every European shipping company that recently had a shareholder that can take the long view. You do have to take the long view. You've got 25 years of shipping work ahead of you here. And so we can thank our shareholder in Dubai for taking that very long view. So those are the three key points I wanted to make. So thank you all very much, the shipyard, the shipbuilders, the P&O team that has superintended her construction. And thank you, STX management, for being so cooperative. I know if we'd built these ships in yards I can think of elsewhere, we wouldn't have had the flexibility to evolve the fine ship. So a huge thank you to all. Kit Foss.